If you like to wait, I'll have the results back soon. Actually, She'll I wait. <sighs> we both will. Okay. Maybe I should call Peter and let him know that his star reporter is trolling the halls of General Hospital, getting all up in my business, instead of doing her actual job. I'm researching a story about the hospital's finances, but maybe I should call Peter and tell him why I'm all up in your business instead. Never mind. Uncover the facts and report them. Not until you tell me what's going on. Maxie, if you thought you were pregnant, why didn't you just take a test? I did. I took three home tests. Three? Why? Did they all come back with different results? No, they were all positive. And you thought there was an inconsistency, why? Well, you know, home tests can be unreliable. All three of them? It could happen, especially to me. And I... I'm totally pregnant, aren't I? Okay, I take it you weren't planning to get pregnant. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Um, Peter and I have not been living together for that long. We've never really had an in-depth conversation about having kids. And the only time the topic of marriage came up was when we were arguing with Spinelli. Wow, okay. Uh, there's a lot to unpack in that statement. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea how Peter feels about potentially being a father. And he had a total crisis of confidence before he moved in with me because he was afraid to be happy. But he moved in anyway and he lived through his fear, and Peter? Peter's a really happy man, and you know what? I would bet that he would love to be married to you and have kids, and your family! Your family is gonna be over at the moon! Yeah, Mac, my mom, Anna, James, Georgie, they're all gonna be thrilled. <laughs> Spinelli and Robert, not so much. Do you really care what Spinelli and Robert think? Of course I care! Spinelli is Georgie's father! Not that I have to clear any life-altering decisions with him. Are your feelings about this pregnancy complicated because of Nathan? Okay, I am always thinking of Nathan, but this has absolutely nothing to do with that. Okay, then what is it? Or are you and Peter are okay, right? I love Peter. And he loves me. And James and Georgie, we're, we're building a life together. Then what is it? You can tell me. The timing couldn't be worse. And I, I feel kind of selfish saying this right now, but what if I'm not ready? What about my career? I mean, I, I'm not the first woman to have a surprise baby in the midst of a major career move. She's been waiting her entire life to happen, right? Okay, we're not talking about other women. We're talking about you and it's okay to take a pause and evaluate. You just got on board with deception. It is a big deal. I just, I feel so selfish, okay? I think about Nina. She would kill to be in this situation. You have a baby or you don't have a baby because you want a baby or don't want a baby. Your body, your priorities, they are your own. Are those the results? 